welcome back to UNN Guide um, YouTube channel. Now, on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a website on simplesite.com and as well link it using your mobile device. Now, there are many applications you can actually use to create websites on Simple Site. Um, we have Chrome, which is here, and we also have um, Opera Mini, which is here, and we have Puffin Web Browser, which is here too. Now we have um, things like um, applications like Internet Explorer. Um, you can also use uh, Microsoft Edge. You can also use um, you can also use there are lots of um, applications you can use to visit the internet to create a website. But the one I'm recommending today for us to use is the Puffin Web Puffin Web Browser. Now, why am I um, recommending this web browser? I'm recommending this browser because you cannot actually link um, uh, link or post in simple sites using your mobile device unless you are using this app. Now, if you are using Chrome, if you are using Chrome, sorry for that. If you are using Chrome, you cannot link a post in simplesite.com unless you are having a system that is a laptop or you are using this application in your phone. Now, what you need to do is just to download the Puffin Web Browser from your Google Play Store. If you're using an iOS, look for it in the App Store. Just search Puffin Web Browser. You see it over here, click on it. Now you see you have to open the app. Once it opens, as you can see this is just the app. Once it opens, you have to visit the simple site .com. Click on it now to take you directly to simple site website. As you can see, it's still loading. Now you can see start here. That is what it says. Now you don't need to click on the start here. First thing you need to do is to change the mode to desktop mode. Click on this and request for desktop mode. Now it has changed now to desktop mode. You have to zoom out. Now click on the start here now. To take you to a new page, it will ask you to select the kind of blog or website you want to create for yourself. Now I'm selecting personal blog. And once it loads, you now have to select the kind of color, background color you want for your website. Any color you select at this front line, it changes immediately so that you know the kind of color. As you can see, if I click on blue now, you see it changes immediately. So I'm going to choose color for myself. Um, Okay, let me go with this color now the next thing to do is to click on next image as you can see it here next image click on next image now once you click on next image it will now ask you to select a, a picture for your website you can actually click on upload image from here if you if you want you can actually click can actually can actually select an image here for yourself from the system so I'm going to upload an image from my web browser so you can see what it looks like um, sorry let me check this one okay I've uploaded this to this page and um, it's good so once you upload an image next thing you do is to click on next title once you click on next title you click a type you can type um, um let's just say just give the title of any website you want or the name of your website let's say again and guys and the next thing you need to click on next username once you're done, now you have you now have to choose the username for your website. Let's say U N N guide. Sorry. Well, you have to select a unique username for your website because if you choose a username that has been selected before, or well, let me show you an example. Um, let's just say yes. if I choose a website that has been chosen taken before, I'm going to get a message that username is already taken. Now I'm going to look for a unique name that has not been used before. Then in this username, this is the one that carries www.unnguide.com. You understand? 
but because SimpleSight is going to host us, so it's going to be www.unnguide.simplesight.com. Now, you have to select, you have to type in the name. You don't need to put dots. No, it's not allowed. Just the name only. Just the name only in small letters. Now, once you're done with typing that, you click on OK, continue. Then you now have to sign up with your email address. That is your school email address and the password of your choice. Now I'm going to be using my email address here so you can see password of your choice. Okay. Signing up. Then once you're done signing up, save password on the app. Now, it will now ask you, congratulations, your website has been created. Now, choose the address of your website. Now, all you need to do is to choose the address of your website. If you want to go for www.unnguide.com, you can actually just pay $1 and choose it. But if you don't want to pay $1 or you want to change the domain name or whatever you want to do, you want to customize it, you can actually make a payment of $1 and go ahead with it. But if you want just to go for free, which, which you are supposed to do, or which you are going to go for, just click on the select the free one, which is the unnguide.simplesite.com. Once you choose it, then it says, Welcome to Simple Sites. Let's show you in a few steps, a few simple steps how to create and promote your own website. Click on Start Editing. Now, once you are on the page of your website, just click, click, click in all this, cut it, cut it, cut it. Okay. Don't mind this blue stuff is for it is it's a clipboard. Now once you're done with clicking all this, you're going to see this plus sign here. If you want to add a content to this page, you can actually click on this plus sign here to add a content. Now I'm going to now the next thing I'm going to do for us is to show you how to make a post on this website and link it to UNN website. Now what you need to do is now to create a new a new page new page then visit um, visit UNM website now this is UNM website once you visit UNM website all you need to do now is to look for a post that they have made before or any any post at all from them um, let me select this Okay, let me use this one. Once you click and open the post, you need to copy. Um, let me show you things you need to copy. You need to get the picture of the of the, of the webs of the post. Save image. Internal storage. Now copy the name of the post or the title of the post, and copy the little description of the post. So once you're done copying these two, you as well copy the link of the post. Copy the link of the post. Once you're done, copy the link. Copy the link of the post. Once you're done copying the link of the post, now go back to your simple site website. Once you open your simple site website, you can now start adding contents because you've gotten them. I actually have this mobile application which I use to copy items. As you can see, all the things I copied are here. So if I want to place them, it won't be hard for me to be visiting pages and going back again. Now, what you need to do if you want to add a content, you have to click on the plus icon. Once you click on the plus icon here, it will ask you what do you want to create. Is it a picture, image? You can select um, select some text. Now on this page, you, it will, you now have to select a text of your choice. Now, you have to select the text feature. If now click on the text below here. Once you click on the text icon below, you to enter your headline. Write your headline. Now you have to paste all those documents you copied from from the website. Open this. Um, this is the topic. That's the title of the post. Paste it here. Sorry for that. Now paste it. Network issue. 
So now once you've pasted the name of the title of the post you want to create, that is the UNM post you want to copy and paste here. Then once you go to the um, page, go to this page, clear everything there and post the copied content you got from the UNM website. Now this is it. Now you know how to paste this. Paste it. Once you're done pasting it now. Just uh, okay. Now, once you're done pasting it, you can you can see here. This is a link icon. If you're using Chrome to view this, you're not going to see this link icon. If you're using um any other app to view this, you're not going to see this link icon except you're using this Puffin web browser. Now, once you're on this Puffin web browser with your mobile device, you can actually you can actually um click on this link icon. Once you click on it, it will it will show you a page where you can paste the URL link you copied from the UNL website. Now all you need to do is to click on this first box. Now click on the link. Copy the link from the your clipboard and paste it here. Once you paste it, then the second it says text to display. Now this text to display means what do you want to be showing on the page that you want to represent this uh, link maybe you want to be, uh, you want your link to be showing something like read more that if you click on this read more the read more will be representing this link and it will redirect you to your own website or you can just say anything or click for more info okay let's use uh, let's use click here for more info Okay, you don't put a full stop on it. Just three dots. Two, three. Okay, ellipsis. Now the title is not necessary. Then the target. Select the target, none. Click on new window. Once you click on the target, click on new window. And once you're done, you click on OK. Once you click on OK, now you are done with the process. Now you're done with the linking and you're done with the posts, you click on save. Sorry, click on save. Got it. Now since you've saved this, the next thing you need to do is to add is to add an image, the image you downloaded from the UNL website. You still go to this plus icon here. Once you click on it, click on image, then you now see where to add images. Now I will suggest you click on you add image close to the post you you pasted recently. You either add image at the top here or you add image at the below. So you can add image here too, anyone. But I will advise you to use the above button, add image here. Once it opens, you click on browse files. Then choose from local. That is your mobile device um, internal storage. Choose from local. Then this is the recent pictures I downloaded. Um, this is it. This is the picture. Once you upload it, then save it. Once you upload it, then save it. Now, once you save the image, cut it. What's wrong with this? Oh, sorry for that next talk issue. Okay. Once you save the image, you can see the image is below. It's just taking time to re-update itself. Once you save the image, uh, it is now saved. You can just what you need to do now. Sorry. I think we have to try that again and see why it didn't show up.
the image is supposed to be showing. Put an image above there. Browse files, choose from local. The picture, upload it. Once you're done uploading, click on save. Now the image has been saved, as you see written below, but you may not be seeing it because of, of um, system issues on the website. Now, once you've saved it, the next thing you need to do is you're actually done in creating your website and um, making a post and linking it also to your own website. Now, what the UNN ICT wants you to do actually is that if you give them your website link, they will come to your website and and view the posts, the UNM post you created, and click on that link. And once they click on the link, it will redirect them to UNM website. That is what they want you to do. Now, using this guide, um, what I'm going to show you is to prove to you how that I've created the website, and I'm going to show you um, how to verify it. The verification will be done by the ICT, not by the students. So let me show you what they normally do. They go to another website, sorry, another page. I just say you type your www dot dot u and then write your website name dot inside the host dot com. Once you visit the website, now once you visit the website, you're going to be seeing this page and this post you made. As you can see here, this is the website. Let me view it on uh, desktop mode so I'll see clearly. Now it's on desktop mode now. I wonder why the image is not showing anyway. But that is still not necessary. Now once you've opened the website, as you can see here, yearning at the International Association, blah blah blah. This is the post you made. And this is the link of the post. Now once I click on this, click here for more info. It will take me straight to the post of the UNM website. As you can see it here. Now let me do that. Let me do that back again. Let me take it back. This is the post. Now this is a link. This is the where to click on link. I shall click on it to take me to UNM website. This is what UNM wants you to do. So once you're done, send your links to um, your ICT reps or your ICT HTOs. They are in charge. They will not do the necessary requirements to complete your registration. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video, and um, I believe you've learned. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section below, and um, we'll move ahead. Thank you. If you have anything that or anything you want us to create for you or to show you how you can actually do it with your mobile device, if you want to create a website, if you want to us to show you steps on how to do some registrations or certain things. And just drop in the comment section below, like and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe on this channel, UNN Guide. We are here to help. Thank you very much for watching and kindly share the link and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.